Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Mario Nostrum playing as the Roman Empire. We are currently trying to take over Indonesia, having a heck of a time with it. The Scots are uh, an uber duber threat, it turns out. What fleet is this? Down by Banjar? Heck no. Okay, you guys, you guys start coming up here, please. I got a big fleet down here that needs to make its way across the Atlantic. Let's see. Take the 40 stack of transports. Send them up to Calais. At least I think that was Calais. Alright, so let's see. Let's reorganize some troops around a little bit. Now that some of these guys did fire, and they're no longer a threat to me. Australia and Korea were generous enough to join in on the war, which I hope should distract them at least a little bit. Okay, we should be able to kill Sulu. And with Sulu dead... Where are you guys going? Oh. With Sulu dead, that'll be one little guy out of the war. I'll be able to take them, and I'll keep working my way through um, Brunei, take a couple of these forts. And then we'll see what I can do about Malacca. Maybe I can persuade them to surrender at least a little bit. Maybe like these little guys right here? Just so I can, you know, have these entire islands to myself? That'd be okay with me. I don't necessarily need to take this. It's a thought. It's an option. The good news is, they don't feel bold enough to attack my 39 heavies. Because it turns out, 39 heavies are still pretty strong. Alright, Sulu's dead. Let's see if we can transport over here now. How are we looking... Up in Muscovy. Pretty good. They're not making a lot of progress. They're trying, but they're not doing much. Um, hmm. The ticking war score, of course, is on our side, which is great. They have 96 ships here. They have more heavies than I do. If they wanted to combine these two fleets, they could take me on. I'm not sure why they're not doing it. They could. But I guess I shouldn't complain about it. Not that I am complaining. I'm quite happy about it. Gain a Grand Captain. Cool. Where'd your fleet go? There they are. 96. Banda. I don't know. They're just kind of ping-ponging around. I'm not sure what they're trying to accomplish. Scottish Separatists are still proving problematic for me. I should probably back off. I do not want to incur their wrath prematurely. There we go. Building up a really big stack. We'll see if we can handle it. Convert some more of them. We have so many conversions to do still. Let's transport these ships across. And then we'll definitely be able to put down the Scotsman. Okay. Uh, what are the odds I can get my transports up here? Pretty good, I think. Oh, General died. Oh, I think that was my really good one. No, it was. Damn. I liked that guy. He was good. All right, we'll take you instead. Uh, I think they're coming after me. Nope. Nope, they gave up. Okay, that's a good thing. More Separatists. We can handle that one. Steps, Savannah, Marsh. Let's split them up between there. There we go. Unfortunately, all the unrest is starting to come back. All those uh, rebellions have expired at this point. I'm going to go ahead and reduce some unrest in a few places. I don't feel like dealing with it. I don't. I'm tired of this crap. Like, do I want these guys firing? No. In fact, what rebels do we have that are really close to firing now? There's a lot of rebel factions, I can tell you that much. The Irish want to fire. Oh, don't do that. They've actually got really low unrest. Eh, I think they might actually be okay later. Let's see. Separatism. Yeah, in a, in a few months, I think they'll pipe down. No need for the Rule the Seas mission. Okay, moving on. Mm -hmm. City life, lose money, or I, they were oppose, oh, screw you. Vote against me if you want, see if I care. 
Did you guys not kill these things before? Oh, they seized you down first. You fool. Now Northumbria is under attack. Great. All right, all you guys get over here. We'll deal with them, don't you worry. We'll deal with them. Now nah, they're asking for peace. Of course they are. Now that you know you've lost. Fools. Kill them. Kill the Scottish. They don't even have a general anymore. Well, that was easy. Okay. Turns out I had nothing to fear from the measly Scotsman. That fort is down. Can we get to this one? Totally can. Go for it, man. Peasant Revolt. In Maximi Maximianopolis. Maximianopolis. Where is that? Maximianopolis. Here. I got a legion not far from there. Go to Maximianopolis. <laughs> what a name. It throws me off a little bit, because it's like, what little geography skills I might have had are completely wrecked by the fact that everything has been renamed to something Latin. Oh, by the way, it occurred to me, I don't know if anyone's made a comment on this later, but it occurred to me. These guys, these little, these little, uh, colonial nations, I should have freaking called it Latin America. I mean, I know it's, it's already Latin America, but like, in this case, it would literally be Latin America. It would have been perfect. I didn't think about it. Ah, oh, missed opportunities. Clergy political struggle. Uh, they can gain influence. It's fine with me. I don't need to meddle in their affairs. What a weird looking fort. We've won the Siege of Sulu. Perfect. Uh, can we transport down here to Malacca? Will they cause a problem for me? Only one way to find out. I don't want to rule the seas. I mean, I do want to rule the seas, but it's too much effort. However, if I took that mission and then attacked Malacca's fleet and then destroyed many of their ships, I'll take it because it's the only mission I've got, but... It's not a very good one. We're up to 54% war score now, by the way. If I wanted to talk to Brunei, I can now take all of this. Which is good. Yeah. Yeah. See? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not sure I actually care about, like, some of this, but... I actually care more about getting some of this stuff from Malacca. Weakening Malacca up a little bit. Alright, are we in Maximinopolis? No, we're not. I'm way too impatient. I gotta travel across the desert. Whoop! No guy. Hello, no guy. I'm going to crush you. Convert. And now we're in Maximianopolis. Kill them all! Die, peasants, die! And they're dead. Okay. Do, 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 do. Take the forts, you fools, oh, take the forts. Hmm. 77%. No attrition. I'm just gonna go ahead and group up this entire navy for now. And that went down really fast. Okay, well done. GG, man. Okay, we'll, we'll siege down as much of this as we can, just for what tiny little bit of extra war score we can get. We'll see, just to screw you over a little bit. Maybe try to run you bankrupt a little bit or something. Do, 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 do. And these guys fired again. Joy. Well, fortunately, they still fired in small stacks again. 41,000, though. This is only a 10 development province. I really don't understand why 41,000 can spawn there. I know that the number of rebels is supposed to be tied to the development of the province that is rebelling. It's supposed to be. It doesn't feel like it is. Do I care about production efficiency or diplotech? Not really. 
Now that we have an abundance of military uh, diplomatic power, I think I am going to go ahead and pass one of these policies. And let's go ahead and do the one where we uh, have better relations faster. So now we're up to 10 per month. It goes a little bit faster. It's not a lot, but it's something at least. Okay, more conversions for me. Group up, go kill. Doop -a -doop 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 -doop. European traders in China. Price of Chinaware changes by 50%. We also gain a frick ton of money and some prestige. Sweet. That's what I like to see. Okay. Split, split. Go here. Go here. Split. Go here. Is this help my Blanca? Yes, it is. Okay. This fort is taking a shockingly long time to die. Shockingly long time. I need to get a general in charge here is what I need. Can I go here? Yeah. Hang on. <clears throat> Let's go siege this down, pick up a general real quick. Oh, and Khorasani. Okay. I was ready for that. We go there. The rest of you look pretty good, actually. Go here. Go here. We go here. Jump on them. You guys are fine. You go here. Come up here. And you split between these two areas, and that should put them down completely. Okay, not so bad. I'm pretty sure, by the way, I, I, again, I'm ahead of you guys, and I'm going to be for the rest of the series, but I'm pretty sure somebody is inevitably going to say, Oh, why don't you just drop one of your idea groups and real quick pick up a colonist so you can fill in the holes and conquer all of Africa? I could do that. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and save my, um, what is this? Is this, no, that's just ships. I thought those were troops. I'm going to save my, uh, African conquest for my Ethiopian campaign. Because I'd like to have something special for them. I think that'd be fun. Okay. Let me get a general in charge down here with some siege value. Oh, look. Brunei has peasants. Are these all cannons? They are all freaking cannons. I hate the detach feature. When I want to detach an army, okay, to continue sieging, first off, the cannons are the ones I want to leave behind and not the other way around. And secondly, I'd much rather you didn't even split. But they're not that smart. They are not that smart. And now we have a bunch of freaking peasants causing problems for me. Gosh dang. Don't I feel lucky. Okay, well we're going to have to kill kill them now. Let's get this army together. Can we handle the straits? Maybe I should come around this way instead. Try to avoid that. Getting close to being capped on um, Diplo power. I need to be careful about that. Here comes Muscovy. I don't know what you're doing here. I'm pretty sure Malaka wants to kill you. But here they come anyway. Sweet. No, 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 no. You get back here. Don't you run from me, you little coward. Thank you. Well, I think I've sieged everything from Brunei that I really want. At this point, it's just a question of... Getting uh, anything from Malacca. Uh, we looking okay over here? More or less. We should go ahead and siege that back. Anything else I'm not paying attention to? I think we're pretty good, actually. Pretty good shape. <laughs> Victory! We actually managed to pass this thing. Sweet! Better trade power. Equals better money. Uh, Truce with Molly just ended. Good, I could finish them off now. Can we please get this frickin' fort? Please? Please? <laughs> oh, Malacca. Who would have thought you'd be the power of Indonesia? 
You're the powerhouse. You got your level 8 forts all over the dang place. Well, you got a few level 4s and stuff. You can take stuff down here. Whatever. In the meantime, Australia's having some fun, so good for them. Hey, Australia, you know you can go over here, right? You can just march down this direction? No, wait, no, you can't. That's a wasteland. Never mind. I apologize for being so insensitive. Brunei, what are you doing here? Oh, of course, because rebels siege it down. Now you can... Tr ah! Ah! So frustrated by this. Speed 5! Who's worried about it? I'm gonna march you down over here. So that we'll be better able to react. Another conversion. Go ahead and tax something. Get some money. Of course, now we're down to freaking 40% war score because, you know. <sighs> Rebels. Causing trouble for me. Gonna have to siege that back now. It's inevitable. Let's go ahead and try to transfer some guys over here. Get the main fleet over. Trading in cotton happened. Sweet. Settler chance. Irrelevant. Just take the dang fort. Take the dang fort. Take the dang fort. Okay. You guys go kill the peasants. I'm sure you can handle it. You can handle it. You get the capital back. I want that ticking war score. Let's go ahead and send the navy back down here to get a blockade bonus. Speed 5 wars are definitely quick, I can tell you that much. Oh, freaking heck. Come on, it's a 50% chance. Just take the dang thing. I'm not asking for much, I promise. Oh my god. Truce with Congo just ended. It's almost 1830. There's that, finally. Go kill the pretenders. Convert. Call for peace. It's already been five years, apparently. Long war, turns out. Long war. Well, I can at least get these besieged back under my control. That'll reduce any war exhaustion for a little while. My great advisor has died. Don't care. Siege that back. You go here. This is a level uh, level 8 fort as well. Which sucks. Okay, well, we're up to almost 70% war score. This is probably going to have to be good enough. I'm just not in the mood to continue this war for much longer. There's not a whole much more that I can really get out of this. So, let's talk to Brunei. Whoops, that's me. Brunei. Okay, forget this for a second. Forget all these islands. Don't necessarily need this. Let's talk first about taking that. And these. Okay, that's 52%. Now we're looking at adding on you. Take a couple islands or a couple territories here that Australia was nice enough to take for me. That'll weaken Malacca a little bit. Take a little bit of this as well. Good. That's a little much, it turns out. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is pretty good. And I can't quite take all your money. I can take a little bit of money, though. And that's only 65% over extension, which is no big deal whatsoever. I like this. This will work. Thank you. End that war. And that should weaken Malacca significantly. Perfect. And now this whole island looks like it's mine. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, doop. And for good measure, maybe we should declare war on this little guy who's been getting me freaking cast his belly pop-ups all the time. If nothing else, I'm tired of seeing them and I'd like you to stop it. So, let's go ahead and split this navy. Uh, where is your capital, by the way? What is this? That looks cool. This is your capital. Go here. And you? Go here. That should do. Uh, we are pretty much capped on Diplo power. I could be doing, like, some culture conversion kind of thingies. I could take some tech. 
Better naval morale and stuff. I mean, I guess I could. It's a minus 20% already. Alternatively, I could just go ahead and pass the extra policies that will speed things up. I know it's extra expensive, but do it. Pass that. Speed things up as much as we can. We're still going up by one a month, so all right, grab the Diplotech. There we go. All right. One of the reasons, by the way, I suspect... Uh, yeah, one of the reasons we've been having such a nasty uh, income for a while is because of rooting in, uh, out the incorruption. And a big part of that, I think, is because, one, overextension, but two, the unbalanced research. There is a penalty to having uh, really high admin tech and really low Diplo, for example. Causes some serious problems, you know? Tybor, how strong are you? You have only, <laughs> you have only 26. Okay, you're dead. You're very, very dead. Nice, thank you. Do, 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 do. Well, our presence in Indonesia seems to have expanded rather nicely. And it won't be too hard, I think, to take the rest of this stuff. Take the rest of this island. I take over the Solomon Islands, I suppose. But yeah, pretty much the majority of the uh, Pacific Ocean is owned by moi now. Which is great. We're already up to 36% war score, by the way. That was very quick. Not too sure what happened there. Not opposed, but I'm kind of surprised. They're trying to train up some troops, but I'm not so sure how well that's going to work out for them. And in the meantime, we are 72% of the way done with Muscovy. I do have one more trick up my sleeve as far as a policy. I can finally add on the uh, diplomatic annexation cost reduction. I probably will do that next video... And we'll see if it'll be enough to actually deal with them. In the meantime, I need to deal with some rebels, do a couple little things behind the scenes, and we'll see how we feel about it. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Promise. I have, uh, do hope you've been enjoying this video. If so, then be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment and uh, subscribe if you want to see the Rights of Man expansion, which is coming out very, very soon. I'll see you then.